was a tough one. 37-21, Maryland falls to Northwestern Wildcats. This is Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. They threw all over us today, Bruce. Uh, I, I'm quite funereal today after this one. I, I, I saw it from the press box. I looked at you and I said, you look like you're at a funeral. Uh, well, this one hit me hard, Bruce. 27-21, we had the ball. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what else you could say. We were outplayed the whole game, though. Yeah. I mean, you got to be honest. But it, this thing got off to a bad start. All these swirling... What? Rumors and the, fake news the, and the, uh, about Kevin about Anderson. Kevin Anderson, it threw. I thought it threw everybody off. Well, I think it might have thrown the press off. The Did Maryland off Durkin. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. They were up seven nothing. Uh, the Terrapins had it going. Twelve catches, two hundred ten yards for DJ Moore. And guess what? When you look at that last catch down there, yeah. he was foot was inbounds. It should have been a touchdown. And DJ it, was crying again. Well, we just didn't get a call. We didn't get a call all day. What was the ruling? I, I watched the game from the other side with the camera, but in the press box, what they have to say about the the punt interference call? It was a fumble. Look, it was a marginal call. They said we interfered with the receiver, yeah. and I think like we pushed their receiver. We, we pushed you know a what? blocker. You into know what? Game's over. It's no use replaying it. When you're three and three and you're uh, facing what we're facing, I mean, uh, it's over. We lost uh, the game. I'm still upset. I'm, I'm upset, I'm too. I'm somewhat beyond upset. If you think we're still. upset, yeah. DJ was apoplectic Oh, about he it. was. If this was a basketball game, they would have thrown him out. I couldn't believe he didn't get a flag. Yeah. Well, they couldn't throw a flag on anything down there. They tried. They couldn't get the flag out of their pocket. Well, the interference then. call to me was the real one that was a disaster. He was absolutely pushed down. All right. So I, I hate to come on here and get all, all upset, but I'm, I'm, I am. All right, 37-21, we lose. We're at Wisconsin next week, and we'll talk about uh, the future here in a second. This is the Viner Consulting, Viner Four Gates postgame show here on Red Turtle as Don Marcus walks by in the background. We will be back here at Maryland Stadium in a moment. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Help desk support for your computers and networks. Managed services and 24-hour a day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits. Get help when you need it by Terps that you know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. What's the best thing that you saw today? The best thing I saw today was my conversation with Anish Shroff about his call of they wanted to be the best, and now they're the best, referring to the Maryland lacrosse champions. Oh, and your hat is still and hot the hat, there. The hat's <laughs> still hot. Right. And, uh, no, the first drive was great. D.J. Moore was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I questioned some of the play calling. Yep. Uh, the runs didn't seem to develop today, did they? No, they ran a lot of stuff in the alley. They were great running off to the right and the left alleys, but not anymore. Now that people know the, the ball has to be run like that, it's not quite as effective. You have, uh, so we got we have Wisconsin coming up. Let's 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 talk about something else because that's okay. A, well, what do the Ravens have tomorrow? That's not good. Well, Ravens have the Bears and uh, they're under the gun. I said on my show this morning, mm. of which you were on, and your mate, your son Mason did such yep. a fine job. He's busy at home coming tonight, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't blame him. And uh, listen. This is a game they had to win. Did Where it? are the other three wins going to come from? Uh, right now, it's hard to see. I mean, Indiana, I'm not so hey, sure Rutgers, about that. Rutgers won today. They beat Illinois. Well, that's not saying much. No. But, but you got Rutgers, you got Indiana, and I, then you got the big four. Okay. Well, in closing, I spent five minutes trying to explain the scheduling to the people I sit with where I have the season tickets, how Maryland has played win. was going to play Wisconsin for the third time. Hasn't played Illinois. Played Purdue once. This is the first time we played Northwestern. How is this fair to us? But between that, the penalty calls and sometimes the feeling we just couldn't stop them. Just the a bad bottom day. line is, as always, today the better team won. They were better today. Okay. They outplayed us. Stop crying about it. We lost. <laughs> uh, Big news on the Maryland front, though. I can't know you're upset. I, hey! I'm upset, too. Uh, basketball, go ahead. Eric Aiello. I talked to Dustin Stewart. This Dust is a guy Dustin they work. Dustin Clark. This is a guy they wanted in the worst way, and they got him. Okay? And 
Oh, uh, great. We're seeing Northwestern in his locker room scene right now. Everybody yep. jumping in the air. You know, was that was this that big of a game for them? They hadn't won in the conference. They went on the road. They won here. They look like they're having a great time on that video feed. They're entitled to it. They but are. But anyway, you had to win this game with the schedule coming up. They didn't get the job done. It was, you know, and the whole thing with Anderson is so disturbing. Uh -huh. Because we really don't even know. He's on administrative leave. That's what the story is. See, but he's still the he's AD. He's still an employee. They're working on a buyout. Uh, right now I heard that uh, it's Damon Evans is, is running things while uh, Kevin's on leave. And, and I don't expect him to come off of leave and stay here. So that, that's where we are right that's now. That's speculation. I don't expect. I am speculating. Right. We don't know. We don't know. And uh, we're not going to listen to the fake stories that we heard. Yep. And certain uh, mm. certain websites just came out with it, yep. and it was not the truth. So as of now, who is our athletic director? Uh, I believe it's still Kevin Anderson. It's Kevin Anderson. We'll leave it at and that. And with that, that'll do it uh, for the post game show. Remember to listen to In the Nest tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. i got to go on for a few more minutes. Okay. Can't leave this without congratulating Sasho on his 400th win last night. Another nail-biter at Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's just unbelievable. The team yeah. is still unbeaten. And uh, hockey's back. Everything's back except football. And... Today is not a good feeling in your stomach, is no, it? No, and we'll, we'll go to the press conference, see what they have to say. We'll move on with life. That's all, right, all we that, can do. That's enough. In the nest tomorrow morning, we got Donald and Carl Science. We got Barry Levinson. It's a huge game you for the Ravens. Even know. I can make your hands.